Our performance this year is Alice in Wonderland. This show embodies the principles that Puerto was established on love, integrity, purity, and perseverance. In this day and age, people often lose themselves in the modern world. Only by standing out of our comfort zone can we grow and discover ourselves. This is the premise of our musical performance in which we learn to explore who we are with love and purity and take risks with integrity and perseverance. This timeless classic will be brought to life by the hard work and dedication of our students who have poured their heart into bringing this story to the stage. So let's sit back, relax, and let the magic of Wonderland come to life. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what time is it? It's tea time. That you're humming, mother. Oh, I don't know. Something I just made up, I think. Well, I like it. It's pretty. Humming seems to make any task easier and quicker too. What happens next in the story, Lorena? Well, let's see. And then the white bear scurried by as quickly as he could, obviously in a great hurry. Where's a picture of a rabbit? Hmm, I don't see a picture. I don't see any pictures. <sighs> What's the use of a book without pictures? Girls, aren't these flowers so lovely? They're just now opening up their blooms. Wow, just like they're seeing. Hello? Flowers don't talk. That's impossible. Well, sometimes I believed as many as six impossible things all before breakfast. Ouch! Ew! What is it? Oh, it's just a caterpillar. Though it's the oldest looking caterpillar I've ever seen. Now remember, I'm having a tea party here this afternoon with all the ladies, playing cards and perhaps a game of croquet. But, mother, can I be there too? I love cars and croquet. These get-togethers are just for grown-ups, Celeste. Why are you in such a hurry to grow up? To be big enough to do whatever I want to do whenever I want to do it. Lorena, put the book down. You promised me you would set up the croquet set. Yes, mother. Oh dear, look at the time. We are late. Alice, can you finish setting the teacups? I need to go check on the cakes and tarts. Books without pictures, just silly words. Where is the wonder in that? Just a simple drawing of a rabbit or a cat, a mouse, a queen, or everything in between. Is that too much to dream? Oh, I'm late, always late. I set my alarm, it doesn't go off. I could have 20, no, a hundred alarm clocks. It simply wouldn't matter. Oh dear, dear me, look at the time! Something's happening to me, I don't really know what it is, but I, I suspect it 
a long way that I was worried. Oh, fall straight through the earth and come was on the other side. And this doesn't look like any kind of wonderland. <gasps> oh, my dear. Dear, dear me, I'm so very late. Late, late, late. Oh, it's you. Can you help me? Please, wait. <sighs> supposed to get out of here. <gasps> a tiny door, but only a dormouse could fit through there. <gasps> Wait, I think that I see Wonderland and it's so beautiful. But this tiny door, what am I to do? Take a bite of the cake. Oh, a lovely cake with the notes. It says, take a bite. That's what I said. Well, I'm rather hungry and it is almost tea time. Mmm. Mmm. This tastes like a combination of cherry tart, custard, pineapple, roast turkey, and hot for the toast. Oh, I'm feeling a little odd. But maybe it's because I'm so very thirsty. <clears throat> Take a sip. Oh my, a lovely cup of tea, perfect. With the notes, it says, take a sip. That's what I said, take a sip. Oh, this tastes like a combination of asparagus, broccoli, rutabaga, lima beans, and a pinch of cayenne pepper. Oh no, I'm shrinking. Oh dear me, what's left of me that is? Now, what should I do? <gasps> the little door! Now I can get to Wonderland. I'm just the right size. Life can be curious, life can seem strange Everything normal can be disarranged But as for me, all that I see is glorious Is there a difference between there and here? I was confused now with sin Queen of Hearts? The Queen of Hearts? What a beautiful name! Yes, well, that's a matter of 
of opinion, miss. Every year at this time, the Queen of Hearts decrees a caucus race throughout the kingdom. Oh my, what is a... Whoa! What is a caucus race? Don't ask me, ask the dodo. The dodo? You're a dodo bird, aren't you extinct? Do I stink? I didn't say stink, I said extinct. Extinct? Obviously, I am here. Therefore, I am not extinct. But what is a caucus race? Hey, a break. A caucus race is a competitive process in which a kingdom selects their representatives. It is a game of one-upmanship in order to get votes and be selected by the queen. All must expend great energy and runs in circles and never accomplish anything. But if you accomplish nothing, why do you run? Because it's a caucus race. Blame the queen. Simply exhausting, all oh, this racing about. And I'm still <sighs> late. What a beautiful thing. I borrowed it from the cards of the queen. The queen? The queen? I managed to give it right back to her. Mm. I really did. <sighs> really? Oh, the queen! The keyword. The keyword, which is our cue to leave. Now, before those pesky cards of her show up. To do her beating, I agree. One, two, three, and away! <laughs> Mr. Rabbit, sir, you forgot your fan. I mean, the Queen's fan. Everyone, they went that way, but I'm sure I can catch up with them. I always do. <laughs> Sir, do you know the way to the Queen's Court? I have her friend and must return it to her. <laughs> Just look for all the red roses, and you know. You're getting close. I'm coming eventually. But the roses, what direction do I go? Where should I go now? Well, some trouble north. Others travel south, but some go straight up. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you come from and who are you? The question is, who are you? My name is Alice, thank you very much, but you still haven't told me yours. Morning, noon, night time, people try to get me. Try cat before? I'm the only one. You may think you sent me on to town and buy what science up hit. But you'd be wrong to stop in here at law. I'm so classy. Do she shy Some people won't. A green is just a green wall until this cat rambles in. Now you see me, now you don't. My smile is quite famous. Well, at least it is in Wonderland. You have to grin like me to see the bee in my tree. But you never smile like the chish.
little. Haha, <laughs> that might help. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. No matter how hard I try, I, I just can't win like you. <laughs> <laughs> no one can. <laughs> Sit back, Allison. Just watch. Cheshire cat screamed. In fact, I didn't know that cats could green. Oh, cats can green. My cat's dying at the same green. You don't know much, and that's a fact. She just screams when you're not looking. Well, I'm afraid I don't feel much like greening today. Miss Cheshire cat, may I call you by that name? As, As you, you wish. wish. I'm trying to find a queen's court, and no one will help me. The queen of hearts, I know her. When she's around, she turns my green upside down. down. And then, I, I simply vanish. Well, what should I do? Can you vanish? No, I'm afraid I can't. Well, if you want to find a queen, first, keep walking. You are sure to get there if you are long enough. And second, learn to play croquet. croquet. Do you play? Yes, I'm very good at it. But no one really lets me play much. Oh, she'll let, let you play. play. And oh yes, yes. a third mm. thing. There's more? <laughs> <laughs> I forget to mention. Everyone in Wonderland is mad. The queen's mad, the hatter's mad, 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 mad. And you're mad too. Well, I'm certainly not mad. I beg your pardon? Well, if you're not mad, why are you here then? I wanted to be treated like a grown up, so I simply jumped down the rabbit hole and ended up here. The old jump, jump down, down the rabbit hole trick? trick? Ugh. Well, are you grown, grown up? up? You look grown, grown up to me. Oh, I'm so confused. I just don't know anymore. See what I mean? You are mad. mad. We're all mad. mad. Hey! <laughs> On your way to the queen, perhaps you should stop, stop by and see the Mad Hatter. And have tea. tea. Let them Much watch here. here. It's quite mad too. <laughs> <laughs> well, since this isn't March, do you think the hair will be a little less mad this month? March, March April, April, May, October. October. It doesn't make much difference. difference. And they are always serving tea. And they are always mad, 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 mad. mad. <laughs> seen a cat without a green, but a green without a cat. That is the most curious thing I ever saw in my life. I'm Tweedle D, I'm Tweedle Dum, we're dum da dum dum having fun just Tweedle D ing D ing every day. If you forget the word to say, it's simple, just remember, ring your name with three songs and it's on the shine as you hum along. Hey, clap for us! Clap for us! Hey, come on! Oh. Oh. Yes. yes! Who are you? 
We just told you. We t e a r dumb and t e a r d v a t e r for quality. We s e n t r a l i z e in having fun. We t e a r d and t e a r dumb. Ta-da! Well, pleased to meet you, Miss D and Miss D. Did you call me d u m I did not. I called you by proper names. I was just trying to be polite. It's not polite to call anyone d u m You may call me. Mm, <gasps> Tito, and you may call me Tito. Me. me, me, me. Well, if I call you both Tito, how will you know whom I'm talking to? Me, 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 me. 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 Really? really? Now, Tito D and Tito D. Did you call me D? <laughs> I certainly did not. It's just that I'm so confused. I, I. What's the matter? Cats go t r o u g h huh? The c h e s t a r c a t It's entirely possible, little girl. Why aren't you answering us? us? Well, I you ought to speak and say how you do and shake hands, like all proper grown-ups do. Of course, of course. Excuse me, how do I do? t w i d d l e D and t w i d d l e D, or are you t w i d d l e D and you t w i d d l e D? I'm t w i d d l e D, I'm t w i d d l e D, and strangely as a rule of thumb, we move s y n c h r o n o u s i t y w i t h t w i d d l e D. I'm Tweedle D. We sing with a ferocity that people around us run with Tweedle D and Tweedle D. 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 Now five, don't go splashing the paint all over me like that. I couldn't have a seven job on my elbow. That's right, five. Always lay blame on others. You better not talk. I heard the queen said only yesterday that you decided to lose your hair. What for? Um, I think it was because it was cloudy outside and she was in a. Bad mood. Well, I didn't do anything. Does anyone ever? <gasps> I can hear her now. Ah, f i s h e s h a i r Ah, ha, 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 ha. Well, it won't be funny if the queen catches us here and the roses aren't red. She wants everything in the kingdom painted red. This is too big a job for us. We need more help. I've gave a paintbrush to the mock turtle two days ago, and he still hasn't shown up. <laughs> That was a good idea. Why are we number cards always getting the worst jobs? The face cards look down on us. They would never be caught painting roses. Let me try to explain it to you. When you shop for the deck, you play the cards, then you get to the poker face. Or oh, pretend you don't will be gone. You might end up discarded, but don't be broken hearted when you're painting the roses red. Cut the cards, place the b e s t and hold them close to your ears. Don't let kings, queens, and jacks make you feel second best. Just pick up the slack now. Don't be a one. A bunch of crazy aces, but I can tell you were the greatest of race. Though we're always made a bow to the face, and we're all voted by kings and queens and jacks so much. We love to live and each of us the well and goodbye. So don't be a trump now. Go on, don't be no trump now. When, When you're painting the roses red, only oh, might as well go fish 'cause we do as we wish. When we're painting.
Channel numbers Her Majesty the Most Royal Pink. I mean, the Most Royal Queen of Heart has sent me to check on your progress. First, let's review your technique. Brush up, brush down, let's all, let's off. Why do you get to tell us what to do? You are a number card. I am a face card. Therefore, you paint, I supervise. This has done. Hmm, Miss Spot. Ouch! Oh, falls on roses. Make sure you cut them all off while you are painting. And what do we have here? Tarts, your lordship, would you like to sample one? How did you come about these tarts? Well, we got them from the dodo who happened along. The dodo got them from the mark turtle who was bouncing down on the shell. Turtle came by way of the forest. Where he was given the tarts by the dormouse who had fallen asleep. Who had got them from the march hare. He said he got them by the way of the caterpillar. Who told him he got them from the Cheshire cat who, while invisible, scooped them up from the queen's table. It's as simple as that. Well, that explains it then. These tasks belong to the queen. The queen! The queen's tasks! You have a hand! She will show us this deck and cut the deck! You take it! No, you take it! You take it! No, you! No, you! Ew, you! Hmm, raspberry. Delicious! Now, what is it that the turtle told me? If you see the red roses, you're getting close to the queen's cot. Red roses, I must almost be there. Oh, excuse me. And who might you be? My name is Alice. The five of hearts. The seven of hearts, humbly at your service, miss. The two of hearts, you can count on me. Get it, count on me. One, two, ha! And I am the name of heart, but you can call me Jack. Mm, may I ask where is three, four, six, eight, and I? They are at a party. A car party? We aren't invited. Well, I don't get invited to parties either. At least, parties with grown-ups. Sir Jack, did I hear you say that you might be taking something to the Queen? I believe I might have her fin, and I would love to return it. Well... Good luck with that. I'm sure we'll, I'm sure the queen will be terrible. I mean, terribly grateful to you. Meanwhile, I think I will be going. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. <gasps> Me too. Get it? Numbers, your job is far from done. Of the 3,422 more rose bushes to paint red in this kingdom. And by my calculations, I believe you have completed first four, three and a half. There is no time to race. Bring your brushes and follow me. Come on now, now. Step to it. Brush up, brush down, whistle, whistle. Brush up, brush down, whistle, whistle. Where do I go from here? Ugh. I'm here, ready to paint. Oh, where did everyone go? Mm. Ah, delicious. Mmm. Hey, little girl. <laughs> Who are you? More to the point. Who are you? Mm -hmm. I hardly know, sir. Just at present. I knew who I was when I got up this morning. But I think I must have been changed several times since then. Ah. It is a big puzzlement. Maybe you can explain yourself? Ah. I can't explain myself because I'm not myself, you see. Don't worry about it. I don't know myself either. Today, a caterpillar. Tomorrow, a butterfly. Wow. Who knows? I just try to live in the moment, if you get my dream. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, a moment takes entirely too long, and I just want time to hurry up. Then you can't enjoy the taste of the soda. 
delicious. You need to be like me. Sit back and never ever worry. Except when my cherry falls to the bottom of the cup, it's extremely hard to recover. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that, but I, I thought maybe you might be bringing me my jar of cherries. But then again, it's a fairy big jar. With fairy big cherries, I would suppose. Precisely. Now, who did you say you were? I think you ought to tell me who you are first. I'm a caterpillar and such a thriller. To sit among the daisies and the daffodillas. So my great big mushroom is any grand. It's just another reason why we love Wonderland. It's just another reason why we love Wonderland. You mean you just sit there and sip all day? Yeah, Mom. Delightful. I'm a caterpillar, come on now will ya? Join me in a soda, chocolate or vanilla Don't worry, be happy We don't need to have a brunch It's just another reason why we live in Wonderland It's just another reason why we live in Wonderland Ooh, Maybe someday I'll be a butterfly Who knows, I might be yellow But until then I think Outside on top of this part of Bellow, just laying in the sun, chilling out and having fun. One more sip and then I'm done. And then we'll bring in another one. You are the most unusual caterpillar I've ever seen. Have you always lived in Wonderland? Well, I tell you that I And how did you get on that mushroom? A long time and ago. And that is the biggest soda I've ever seen. Why is it so big? Slow down, little lady. So many questions. But then, Wonderland is full of questions. I know what you mean. Like, I pursue myself. Who is myself? Where should I go? What should I do? And who are all these curious creatures I've been meeting? I was thinking more like, why do I have so many legs and I don't want to go anywhere? If you get my dream. <laughs> <laughs> Admit it, it's a thriller just to know this caterpillar. Maybe I can have a soda too? I suggest tea. Try it on the road. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. But the queen, what should I do? Just chew and live in the moment, little girl. By the looks of it. Have some fruit punch. I don't see any. There isn't any. <laughs> then why did you offer it to me? That wasn't very nice of you. Why do you sit down before being invited? That wasn't very nice of you. Well, I'm sorry, but there are so many places to sit and so many teacups that I... <laughs> oh dear! Look at the time! What time is it? It's tea time! It's always tea time here It never changes, dear Each day, each month, each year Always the same with fear It's always six o'clock It shines right on the clock Just to drink perpetually And join this marvelous tea Some more tea. Well, I've had nothing yet, so I can't take more. <laughs> you mean you can't take less? It is very easy to take more than nothing. Well, I should like some tea. How can you say you like it when you haven't tried any yet? Hmm. Well, then, help yourself. Help myself? I wish I could. I'm just not sure what should I do next here in Wonderland. Oh, that's simple. Let me read your tea leaf for you. 
Oh! Oh! Oh dear! 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 Oh oh oh! What is it? You are in for a great adventure. No, wait, not great. What is the word I'm looking for? Hmm. Let me see. Oh yes! Disastrous! Disastrous! Disastrous? Quite a disastrous adventure. Do you play croquet? Yes, I do. Why? I'm most hungry. And my teacup is now a bit dirty. Let's move on, Dad. Join us, girl. It's always time for tea and merry. I think I'm beginning to understand why the Cheshire Cats told me that everyone here in Wonderland is mad. A mere figure of speech, young lady. <laughs> We're all mad here. Mad for tea, mad for biscuits, mad for jam, mad for sugar cubes. Oh my, oh my, oh my! Look at the time! Why bother to look at the time? It's always six o'clock here. Oh my, it's always six o'clock? Oh, yes, six o'clock on the dot. Time for my nap. But I don't want time to stand still. I want to grow up as fast as I can. And I'll never grow up if I stay here. Have, have you ever considered that your clock might be broken? <gasps> no. Never! You ask too many questions. Property party conversations should not be filled with questions. But the problem is, for the host, which is me. Well, I like your hats. And what else? You know, like complimenting my beautiful table, or the quality of the tea, or my splendid flowers. What flowers? Where did they go? My flowers. Bring in the flowers. Oh, that's so much better. Turtle? Well, first of all, you need to address me properly. 
I'm not a turtle, you see? But you certainly look like a turtle. Loose can be deceiving. I used to be a real turtle, but now I'm only a mock turtle. <laughs> oh dear, I can see why you're sobbing. Tell me more. When I was little, I went to sea school every day. My teacher was an old turtle named Tortoise. Excuse me, but why would a teacher go by the name of Tortoise if he wasn't actually a tortoise? He was so named because he taught us. Oh, taught us. <gasps> taught us? I study a variety of unusual subjects. You no know, reading and writing, ambition, distraction, interpretation, geography, and yoga. Really? How many hours a day did you do lessons? Ten hours the first day, nine the next, eight the next, then seven, and so on. How curious! How can class lessons grow shorter each day? Young lady, there's a reason they're called lessons. Because they lesson from day to day. <laughs> I wish my school was like that. But you didn't tell me how you became a mock turtle. Ah, is it that you're slower than most turtle I have seen? <laughs> oh dear, I hope I haven't hurt your feelings. Sometimes my feelings get hurt when people make me feel like I'm not grown up enough to do anything important. Yes, people mock me and hurt my feelings too. But there's an advantage to my leisurely pace. Then please tell me why, Mr. Mock Turtle. People say I'm too slow, but for those in the know, I'm only just smelling the flowers. Oh, feelings are grief, while I do as I please. One journey can take several hours. My philosophy then is to take it all in and be happy. anymore and I can't wait to do everything my sister and my parents do little lady you have plenty of time to do everything you wish but remember you don't have to do everything at once it's a trap we fall into to want to begin to grow up so much faster The rush, take your time, take my don't time. Take no say I don't care if they mock, though I'm slow as a rock. I'm enjoying the joys of each day. Now I must start enjoying the joys of. Thank you, my royal subjects. You're quite lucky today, as the clouds are clearly stacked in your favor, to be in the presence of your one and only queen, I, your queen of hearts. She's the queen of hearts. You better believe it, you got this heart. So you can perceive it, the clouds are in your favor. She's the queen, so watch your step, hold on to your head. She's the queen, and I hope she's not secret. She's the queen of the sea. 
shovel off. All of you just shovel off. Get lost. As I was saying, I, your queen, the queen of... Excuse me, dear. No one asked you. <clears throat> As I was saying, I come to you today with a heavy heart. But, dear... Excuse me, I'm speaking. I have a very heavy heart. A most valuable delicacy from the royal bakery is gone. My tart, my beloved tart, have all disappeared. Simply vanished into thin air. But, dear, must you constantly speak? Oh, I knew I should have married the king of diamonds when I had the chance. He was so red with a load of deck. Oh, those jewels, what a card. Sorry, it won't happen again. And address me by my proper name. Yes, your majesty. Without Much better. We have searched high and low for a clue, a clue to this terrible crime against the kingdom. Who has stolen the tarts? Mm, delicious. Oh! Aha! Of course, it's you, you knave. Caught red-handed, get it red! <laughs> Enter, read the accusation. The queen of hearts, she made some tarts all oh, on a summer day. The knave of heart, he stole those tarts and took them quite away. But your royal of highnesses, I beg of you, I did not steal this tart, nor any of the others. Cut with the goods, off of his head, off of his head. Ha! Well, I do admit I enjoy the cherry ones the best, but, but, seven, give them to me. Off of his head. Ha! Nonsense! Five give them to me! Off of his hat! Ha! Two here is the one to blame! You two gave them to me! It's hat two! Ha! I agree with the knave! Seven is the tart thief! They weren't that good anyway, they were too tart! They are supposed to be tarts! They are tarts! No! They are supposed to be sweet! Haven't you ever heard of sweet tarts? Oh, enough, enough, enough of this all! Off of their heads! All of them! I shall faint from the heat of this exhausting ordeal. I shall indeed faint. The queen is about to faint. Clear large face. The queen is about to faint. Ha -ha! Someone, anyone, bring me my royal fan. Madam, I do hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm told your fan is missing. <gasps> Rest the top. A day of fevery. Oh, excuse me, your highness. <clears throat> Where are you and what are you doing here? I have never seen you before, little girl. My name is Alice, and I assure you I'm not little. I'm very grown up, and I'm very pleased to let you know I have your fan. <gasps> what? You stole my fan? I did not, just as a white rabbit. Where is the white rabbit? <sighs> Late as always. I'm sure no matter how to read the accusation. The queen of hearts, she had a fan that disappeared with malice. But as it turns, we have learned the fan was stolen by Alice. But I was simply returning it to her majesty to be nice. What a good deed for. But to be punished, off of her hat. Shall I pronounce the sentence, your majesty? Yes, sentence first, trial later. But where do I come from? It's trial first, sentence later. Not in my kingdom, Eloise. It's Alice. Whatever. But your queenship, I object to this mocker of justice. Let the young lady have a trial. Well, it might be entertaining. Hata, assemble the jury. Jury, assemble at once. into the witness box. This ought to be good. A trial. What a novel idea. Knave, did you think I forgot about you? Join your kills. Would you like a tart? They're unfortunately delicious. No, thank you, Sir Jack. Let the trial begin. Let the trial begin. Tato, what say you? Your Majesty, 
this little girl does not know of our ways or our customs. Therefore, I beg your majesty's leniency in the judgment of the matter. Right, right. Guilty, the both of them, off of their head. Jury, thank you for our service. You are dismissed. But, your hardship, I have prepared a lengthy defense. We have no time for a lengthy defense. The show must go on. Well then, I suggest a competition where young Alice may prove herself worthy of a royal pardon. Excellent! Therefore, sentence Alicia! It's Alice! My name is Alice! Whatever! To a game of croquet, if I win, it's off of your head. If the girl wins... <laughs> Never mind, I always wins. Cars, bring the balls, the wickers, the score card, and the flamingos! Bring the flamingos! Flamingo, 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 flamingo. Huh? But where are the mallets? Anastasia. It's Alice. <sighs> Whatever. The flamingos are the mallets. But, but, again? Flamingo! Flamingo, 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 flamingo! We shall play sudden death croquet, my favorite kind. First one to score wins. You may begin first, Adelaide. It's Alice. Oh, I don't think I can do it. Oh, dear me. <sighs> Just hit the ball. This mallet is so big. You can do it, Alice. <laughs> But to you, I'm not grown up enough to play this queen's game. <laughs> Steady, focus. Sister, have been waiting for you. 
You mean that's what you've been late for? All of? Get me home? No time for explanations. Come away. No, no. Bring her back. Bring her back. Off with her head. Off with all of your heads. <sighs> oh, Mock Turtle, thank you for defending me. You're most welcome, young lady. Would you say I was quick witted enough to be of use? Very quick witted indeed. Hurry. No, you must be quick too. Farewell, my friend. Let's go! Back up the rabbit hole! Dear, I've thought it over, and now I've decided you can join all the grown-up soft world for tea and croquet this afternoon. No, thank you. No, thank you. But just a few moments ago, you were quite anxious to be a part of everything. I can wait. Someone reminded me recently that there's plenty of time to do that later. Right now, if you don't mind, I think I'll just stay here and read my book. Whatever you wish, my dear. Whatever you wish. and professionals who have worked so hard to bring you the show today. Let's show appreciation and give a big hand to the school choir, the orchestra and string ensemble, the dance club, the percussion, the performers of Wearable Art Show, the drum ensemble, the Chinese dance, the percussion band, the backstage team, 
the caption writer, the design team, the photography team, and of course, for the choreographer, Ms. Jen Lee Lu. Our vocal coach, Ms. Liana Te. The director of the musical, Ms. Michelle Lee from Rooftop Productions. Let's also put our hands together for our dear teachers, Ms. Miki Chen, Ms. Wu Ka Yan, Ms. Fei Pen, Ms. Lydia Yun, Ms. Rain Ng, Ms. Percy Ho, Mr. Martin Middleton, Ms. Tracy Learn, Ms. Chen Ying Ying, Mr. Chris Lee, Ms. Stacy Learn, Ms. Shou Shok Sang. And of course, our dearest school music teacher and all round inspiration, Ms. Fabian Young. Now, let's invite our principal together with vice principals to join us on the stage. Let's invite our principal, Ms. Constance Chen, to say a few words. Ms. Chen, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What an absolutely fantastic performance. Please give a big round of applause to our Puito girls. They have been practicing for a year and they have done a great job. I'm really, really impressed. I'm really proud of you all. Thank you for such a wonderful performance. Arts and Nation has been one of the highlights of the school event every year since 2006. Even during pandemic, we overcame all different difficulties and still perform online. We insisted because we believe that this experience not only trained our students in performing arts, but also taught them to pursue their dream, to have the same goal, to aim high. And thank you so much. Thank you all the teachers and girls Thank you so much for your support, your schoolmate. And thanks to also giving to all different teachers and students from different schools and share our happiness today. Thank you. <laughs> and special thanks should go to our education committee and different supporting teams and all the students involved, thank you. Your enthusiasm and your determination has been truly remarkable. And your, your visions and your passions melt our hearts and so deeply. Thank you. <laughs> this year, to celebrate our 135th anniversary of Puito, we chose the musical Alice in Wonderland, in which Alice embodies the traits of staying curious and keeping an open mind. And these two traits are also important to keeping Puito a vibrant and dynamic school, enable our students to overcome all difficulties and pursue their dreams and unleash their potentials in various areas. And once again, I hope all you enjoy the show today. And thank you so much and congratulations to all our talented Puerto girls. Thank you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Chen. We really hope that everyone appreciates the hard work that our teachers and students have put in. Remember our school motto, love, integrity, purity, and perseverance. We hope you all can embark on a journey of self-exploration with love and purity, and take risks with integrity and perseverance, just like what Alice did in Wonderland. Now, we have almost come to the end. Thank you all for coming today. Goodbye, everyone. Enjoy the weekend. Bye. Bye.